All right, what we do is uh, start to build the uh, container. And in the container, that's basically, uh, as we defined it inside of our um, HTML web page, the container basically contains or holds everything uh, for the web page. So we wanted to find a style for that to try and help separate it from uh, the background um, and also create a, a unique uh, look to it. So let's uh, add a new rule. We're going back to our page. We're going to come down to the CSS panel. And again, new rules down here. And in this case, what we're going to do, and I'll just uh, zoom into the dialog box, I'm going to create a rule for an ID. And the name of the ID that we have is container. And I'm going to click the OK button. So it brings up this dialog box. So for example, uh, if I go to the background, I can say that background color that I want to have, um, I want that to be white. So that uh, container is going to have a, uh, a white background. We can also go into the, uh, the, the box setting and start to uh, play around with uh, some of the margins. Say, for example, the margin. Um, I'm going to set the margin up for everything. So I'll keep the same for all. And I'm going to set up a margin for, of 20 pixels. And the padding is also going to be 20 pixels. So what this means is that the margin is um, going to give me uh, 20 pixels from the edge of the screen and also 20 pixels down from the top. And the padding is the content inside of the container is going to be 20 pixels as well. So there's 20 pixels between the edge of the container and where the letter and pictures and images and links and so forth are going to start. So what we're doing is we're just making sure there's a little bit of space so things aren't always tight together. And by leaving that uh, same for all turned on, that means it's same for all the way around. You can, if you want, specify more space on uh, one of the sides uh, as compared to uh, the other three sides. Next thing that we're going to uh, do is also um, establish the, the width of this uh, particular container. And I'm going to say I want the width of this to be 760 pixels in uh, size. Um, I'm going to uh, uh, also go to the border. We're going to put a border around this. And what we can do then for the, uh, the border, we're going to have a, uh, a solid line. We'll, we can set the size of it. So we'll set the width to being one pixel. And then we can also establish the color of the border. So I'll just put in a black border to go all the way around. So when I click on the OK button now, you can now see that the uh, border inside of uh, this particular uh, page on the design view, you can see there's a border going around it. I'm going to uh, go to the File menu option and come down to Save All. Make sure the CSS is saved. And then I'm going to go into uh, the browser and we're going to refresh that. Now you see the difference. There's a white uh, box that's holding the container. So that's the actual size of the container. And there's a black border that goes around it. Again, we can get into uh, the code here and start to add and customize uh, some of the code that we want. So for example, uh, if I come down here and I say, uh, I'm putting in the, for the Mozilla, and I'll just zoom into this a little more so you can see this. So I say Mozilla hyphen border hyphen radius, and I'm gonna put this at 10 pixels. Now what I want to do is, because I'm going to be doing this again, I'm going to just copy this line. And Mozilla is for your Mozilla style browsers like Firefox as an example. Let's put in WebKit and I'll paste this in. So this is for browsers such as uh, Chrome. And I'm going to just paste in the, uh, the information plane like this. Because what this is going to do is it's going to uh, Eventually, we're going to get rid of these uh, specialized kits once HTML5 has been established officially. And so then we won't need these kits anymore. So just to make sure that my code will still work when the browsers mature, I'm leaving this line in so it'll, uh, it'll still work um, uh, in future generations. Something else I'm also going to do, this is uh, another nice thing, is I'm going to say Mozilla hyphen. Uh, we'll put in a box and shadow. And for the shadow, I'm going to say it's uh, one pixel space, one pixel uh, space, and I set the bottom part here to five pixels. And the color of that uh, is going to be black. So I'm just going to put like a, a little black uh, 
border around uh, or black drop shadow around our container. And again, what I can do is I'm going to highlight from box to the end here, get a copy of that. Because we also have to put this in for our web kit and I'll paste that in and I'll press enter. And again, I'm going to paste it in a third time just to make sure that we have uh, as uh, these web kits and uh, different uh, uh, libraries as they start to uh, uh, be removed from future browsers, it, this means it'll still work. So I'm going to save the file. Again, save all, make sure it's saved. And then I'm going to go over to the browser. Now keep your eye on the border. You notice that we have the sharp corners and uh, there is no shadow around it. When I hit the refresh button, notice now you've got that round border and you've got a, a bit of a drop shadow all the way around it. So that takes care of the uh, container. Uh, when we come back, we're going to start focusing now on the, uh, some of the ID tags. You have those div tags and some ID tags in different parts of uh, the, the body. So we're going to look at those div tags and then we're going to create a new rule for those div tags.